Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's class is a full body Pilates class featuring my favorite, the mini band. But don't worry if you don't have a band as you'll still be able to enjoy the workout without one. But before we get started, today's outfit is from Gymshark, which will be featured in their upcoming sale that launches on May 26 at 7 a.m. PST for US stores and Canada and at 9 a.m. BST globally. So if you are looking for some new activewear, make sure to check out their sale. With all that being said, let's get straight into our workout. Find a kneeling position at the back of your mat, sitting up nice and tall. Then interlace your fingers on your exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach your arms up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Maybe taking your gaze up towards the sky if that feels good for you. Then inhale, come back up and let's switch the interlace of our fingers. On your exhale, round your spine again, draw your navel in. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, side bend over to the right looking up towards the ceiling if that feels good for you or maybe just closing your eyes then return through center and release your arms down let's open our knees slightly wider than hip distance and stretch our arms forward for everyone's favorite child's pose let your forehead rest heavy on the mat and just take this time to bring your awareness into your breath and into your body. Nice inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. On your next inhale, ripple your spine forward to your hands and your knees. Arch your spine, look up. Exhale, round your spine and press back to child's pose. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale as you arch, really broaden through your collarbones. Exhale as you round and press back. Two more. Inhale, open through your heart. Exhale, round back. One more. Then shift your weight to your hands and your knees again and really draw your navel in, making sure you find your nice flat back. On your exhale, reach your left arm by your ear, keeping your hips still and inhale, release your arm back down. Other side, exhale, reach your right arm by your ear, inhale, lower. Keep going, exhale, reach, inhale, lower. Really drawing your ribs down towards your hips as you reach your arm forward. Let's do two more like this. Last one. And now let's add on. Exhale, reach your left arm forward. Inhale, sweep your arm back. Exhale, reach it forward. And inhale, set it down. Other side. Exhale, reach. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, reach it forward. Inhale, lower. Let's do four more. Keep drawing your navel up towards your spine, keeping your gaze just in front of your fingertips. Nothing else is moving, just the arm. Two more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale, last one. Well done. Tuck your toes under now, draw your navel in, and then hover your knees just a few inches off the floor. 
On your inhale, press back and exhale, shoot forward, keeping your knees off the floor if you can. Inhale, press back, exhale, shoot forward. Just eight more, inhale and exhale. You've got it. Making sure that as you shift your weight forward, that your shoulders are over your wrists. Four more. Three. Really press through your hands. Two. And last one. Let's hold with our knees just underneath our hips. Draw your navel in. Take one more deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good job. Set your knees down, walk your hands slightly forward, shift your shoulders over your wrists and lower yourself down onto your belly. Let's interlace our fingers behind our back. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. Carefully release, place your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, tuck your toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. Maybe take this time to pedal your heels, alternate bending your knees. And then press both heels down into the mat Take your gaze forward and step your right foot to the outside edge of your mat. Drop your back knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. And exhale, thread your right arm through the left. Three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Two more. This should feel really nice. Last one, inhale, reach your arm up and replace your hand back down. Tuck your back toes under, press back to down dog and let's switch sides. Step your left foot to the outside edge of your mat, drop your back knee. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist. Two more. Moving with your breath. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arm up and replace your hand back down. Tuck your back toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. Let's take one nice calming breath in and calming breath out. Then set your knees down Cross your feet behind you and shift your weight onto your glutes. Let's come into a little ab series. So grab a hold of your band if you have one and then place the band around the arches of your feet. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart and your knees are bent and you're really flexing your feet. Let's reach our arms forward in line with our shoulders. Really roll your shoulders down and back. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, round back and circle your arms forward. And again, inhale, nice flat back. Exhale, round back. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure that when you round back, that you're slightly tucking your pelvis under and that you're really dropping your ribs down towards your hips, really activating your core. One more. Let's hold in our C curve now. On your exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, reach your arms up and around to the right. And again, exhale, twist left. Inhale, reach up and around. Keep going. 
Make sure that you're keeping resistance on your band. So really press your feet out, making sure that your knees are in line with your hips. Be careful that your knees don't start to fold in. We wanna keep that resistance. Two more. Can you round back a little bit more? Good job. Return through center and let's switch sides. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, lift up and around. Exhale, twist. Inhale, circle up and around. You've got it. Keeping your shoulders down and back. Let's do two more. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit of heat generated in your waistline. Last one. Then from here, let's twist it out. You twist and twist. Nice, exhale and exhale. Can you round back a little bit more? Keep that resistance on the band. Knees nice and still. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, reach your arms forward and let's roll ourselves carefully down onto our back. Keep your band on the soles of your feet and then just lift your legs to a tabletop position. Make sure your spine is imprinted. So press your lower back down into the floor. Make sure your knees are stacked over your hips and your heels are in line with your knees. Interlace your hands behind your back with your elbows wide behind your head, not your back. Then exhale, curl your head and shoulders up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Good. Make sure that when you curl up, that you're focusing on that rib to hip connection. So really drop your ribs down to your hips. Just four more. Keep the resistance on the band. Three. Two more. And last one, let's hold our curl. On your exhale, extend your right leg. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend your left leg. Inhale, bend. Keep going. You stretch and bend. Stretch and bend. You've got it. Whew. Make sure that when you press that leg away from you, that your opposite knee is staying stacked on top of your hip. You should really be feeling your abs. Whew. Let's do two more. And last one. Now add a twist. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. As you push your leg away, really think of drawing your belly button down towards the mat. You've got it. Try to get your elbow as close to your knee as you can. Just four more. And three. Two. And one. Well done, rest your head. Hug your knees in. Maybe rock your spine side to side. And then from here, let's slide our band just above our knees around our thighs. Place your feet hip distance apart on the floor in parallel and then shuffle your heels in towards your glutes so that you can tickle the back of your heels with your fingers. On your exhale, tuck your pelvis under, roll your hips up, inhale at the top, squeezing your glutes and exhale, roll all the way back down. Inhale to prepare, exhale, tuck your hips under, roll your hips up, inhale, hold, Exhale, roll back down. Keep going. Make sure again, you are keeping the resistance on the band. This time by pressing your knees out slightly. That way you'll really activate through your glutes. Last 
Let's do four more. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, press up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll back down. Three more. Really press down through the heels of your feet. Two more. And last one. Hold at the top, really squeeze your glutes and just press your knees out and out. Nice, exhale and exhale. Just six more, keeping your hips high. Four, three, two, and a one. Hold your knees in parallel. Let's lift our heels. Inhale, lower your hips. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Eight more. Really pressing down through the balls of your feet now. Squeezing your glutes at the top. Five more. And four. Three. Two. And a one. Hold at the top. Press your knees out and in. This time, keeping it slow. So exhale as you press your knees out. Inhale as you draw them back to parallel. Really controlling the release of your knees into parallel so that you feel your glutes working. Let's do four more. And three. Keep lifting your hips up two last one hold your knees in parallel reach your arms up to the sky and pulse your hips up and up nice exhale and exhale really good job let's do ten more nine eight seven squeeze six five four three two and one, hold at the top, and then vertebra by vertebra, roll your hips back down. Interlace your hands behind your head again with your elbows wide, imprint your spine, and lift your legs to a tabletop position. Either keep your head down if you need that, or lift your head and shoulders up for that extra challenge. First option, inhale, shoot your legs out, open your legs, and then bend them back in. Apologies, exhale, shoot your legs out, open, and inhale, bring them in. So this is your first option. Either stay here or extend your legs straight up and exhale, drop your legs down, open, inhale, lift them up. Exhale, drop, open, inhale, lift them up. You've got it. Whew. Really open your legs out as wide as you can, but make sure that you're still pressing your lower back down into the floor. You're doing really well. Just two more. Maybe extending your legs out a little bit lower. Last one. Now you know the drill. Let's hold at the bottom and just press our legs out and out. Whew. Can you lift up through your head and shoulders a little bit more, keeping your chin tucked in. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, rest your head, hug your knees in. Hopefully you felt that one in your abs like I did. Okay, from here, rock the length of your spine up to seated, and let's remove the band from our thighs. Pop it to the side just for now. Come onto your hands and your knees, tuck your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Maybe take a moment here to catch your breath. And then carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll the length of your spine up to standing. 
Okay, let's do a little bit of standing work now. Grab a hold of your band and then place the band around your wrist, just pretty much on your forearm. So make sure it's not exactly on your wrist, just a little bit below. With your palms facing inwards, let's come into a lunge position. So left foot forward, right foot back, and extend your arms forward. Shoulders down and back, draw your navel in. On your inhale, lunge down, exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press. As you bend your elbows and extend. Good job. Six more. Keep the resistance on the band. That is the motto of class today. Keep the resistance. Two more. Last one. And now let's hold in our lunge. Take little pulses for me. Up and up. Just for eight. Seven, six, make sure your spine is straight. Four, three, two, and one. From here, hinge forward, straighten your back leg and straighten your arms. Let's bend our elbows and extend as you tap your right foot in and back. So arms and legs bend and then extend at the same time. It's inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together, pulling those elbows back as far as you can. Let's do four more. And three. Two. And one. Step your right foot back, return to your lunge, bending both knees. Reach your arms up, little pulses down and down just eight more seven six five four three two and one good job other side let's extend our left leg back right foot forward draw your navel in we lunge down and up down and up inhale as you lunge down exhale as you lift up just six more. And four. Three. Two. And one. Let's hold in our lunge. Spine nice and straight. Little pulses up and up. Making sure your shoulders stay down. You have six more. And four. Three, two, and one. Hinge forward. Let's bend our elbows and bend your knee. So you tap in and out as you bend and extend. Really stay nice and bent in your right knee so that you feel that right glute working. You've got to keep drawing your navel in. Just four more. Then we go back to those pulses and two. Last one. Bend your back knee, find your lunge, little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step up to the top of your mat and let's take some knees. You twist and twist. Reaching your arms forward, really twisting over your knee. You've got it. Keep standing up nice and tall, working your obliques. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Release your band from your hands. Walk yourself back towards the back edge of your mat and let's place the band around our thighs. Make sure your feet are mat distance apart and your toes are slightly turned out. 
Let's just stretch our arms forward for this one, rolling your shoulders back. Inhale, squat down and exhale, press up. Taking it nice and slow. Inhale as you squat, exhale as you press up. Now, as you squat down, really make sure that your weight is in your heels, that you're pressing your knees out, keeping that resistance, and that you're really protecting your spine by drawing your navel in. Try to find that engagement through your glutes as you press yourself up, and then make sure that you don't lock out your legs. You wanna keep them nice and bent. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, feel the squeeze, press up. Just four more. Three. Two. And last one. Let's hold a low in our squat. Really shift your weight back and just press your knees out and out. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your knees pressing out, little pulses down and down, just for eight, seven, six, feel the burn, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Press yourself up. Walk your feet in, hip distance apart. Take a nice, Big inhale and exhale, dive forward over your legs. Then from here, walk your hands forward and come down onto your knees. Now that our glutes are nice and activated, we're really gonna work them hard. So let's come into our side lying series. I don't know about you, but I am out of breath. <laughs> that is always the downside of doing the live queuing. I get out of breath. Let's come down onto the left side of your body, resting your head on your arm. Make sure that your legs are at a 90 degree angle, so your knees are in line with your hips and your ankles are in line with your knees. From here, place your top hand on your hip and push your hip away from you so that you feel a really nice lift through the underside of your waist. Then either place your hand on your hip or on the floor in front of you. On your exhale, lift your legs straight up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So make sure that when you lift your leg, you're keeping it at that 90 degree angle. Be careful that your knee doesn't start to drop. You really wanna keep it at that same angle as you lift it up and down, feeling it in the outside of your glutes. Just five more. And four. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Two more. And last one. Now let's hold our knee lifted. Flex your foot. Exhale. Press the foot away from you. Straighten your leg so it's in line with your hip. Inhale. Re-bend the knee. Exhale. Extend. Inhale. Bend. So the challenge here is making sure that you keep that knee lifted and your leg lifted at the same height. Be careful that as you slide the leg back or slide your leg forward, that you're not letting that knee drop. Really find the squeeze in your glute at the end of the movement. And just try to keep everything else nice and relaxed, except your core, of course. Always staying nice and lifted through the underside of your waist. Okay, from here, let's add a little lift. So press the leg away, add a lift, and then bend it back in. So exhale, press, and lift. Inhale, bend it back in. You're doing really well. Just two more like this. Last one. 
Now from here, let's press the leg away again. Inhale, little kick forward. Exhale, little kick back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So you're just kicking it a little bit forward where you feel a slight release of the band before you really press it back. Just six more. And five. Four. Three, you should really feel the burn. Two more. Last one. Hold your leg back, reach your arm up to the sky. Let's take a little lift for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, release your leg down. And let's prop ourselves up. Release the band just for a moment. And let's come into our mermaid stretch. So reach your left arm up on your inhale and exhale, side bend over to your right. Turning your chest up to the sky if that feels good. And then come back up and let's cross our right leg over the left just to release a little bit of that glute. Inhale. Sit up nice and tall. Then exhale, let's reach our left arm across, finding our twist. Beautiful job. Okay, before we get into the other side, let's do a cheeky little arm series. So come onto your hands and your knees. Take your hands slightly further forward and then shift your hips forward so that your shoulders are directly over your wrists and your body's at a nice diagonal. Draw your navel in. On your inhale, let's bend our elbows into our tricep push-up. Exhale, press up. Inhale, press back to child's pose. And exhale, shift forward. And again, inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, shift forward. Just two more. Last one. Now let's lose the child's pose and just take four push-ups. Inhale and exhale. You've got it. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Last one. Now a little challenge. Let's hold halfway for five, four, three, two, and one. Press up and back to child's pose. Well done. Roll the length of your spine up, grab a hold of your cheeky band, and let's get straight into the other side. So place the band around your thighs again and let's come down onto the right side of our body. Let your right arm go long, resting your head, or you can always pop yourself up on your hand, whatever feels good for you. Then take your legs to a 90 degree angle, make sure your knees are in line with your hips, push that top hip away so you feel that lift in the underside of your body. And on your exhale, let's lift our top leg Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Make sure you're lifting the leg, lifting the leg directly up, keeping it at that nice and 90 degree angle. Let's do four more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Three. And two. And last one. Good job. Hold your leg lifted now. Let's flex our foot. Exhale, press the leg away. Squeeze your glute. Inhale, pull the knee forward. Keeping it nice and lifted. Exhale, extend. 
inhale bend so really nice and controlled movement here now a little tip is that when you extend your leg out try to tuck your pelvis under slightly dropping your ribs to your hips that way you'll make sure you're in the right position to feel a nice squeeze in your glutes so it's like as you're pressing the leg back you're actually tucking your pelvis under Let's do two more like this before we add that little lift. Last one. And now let's add the lift. Exhale, press back, lift, inhale, pull it in. Not too many of these. <laughs> Exhale, lift, inhale, pull it in. Don't forget about your core. Keep lifting up through the side of your waist. Two more. One more. Whew. Now from here, let's hold that leg extended. Little kick forward, little kick back. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, kick back. You've got it. Keep it at the same height. You should really feel a nice kind of pinch <laughs> in that top glute. It also feels like it's kind of in that top hip as well. That's a good feeling, don't worry. Let's do two more. Inhale, kick, exhale, press back. Inhale, kick, exhale, press. Let's hold it there, reach your arm up. 10 pulses for me. Let's go lift and lift. Just eight more. Seven, doesn't need to go high. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really good job. Let's press ourselves up. Release the band. You'll be very happy to know that we don't need that anymore. So you can pop that to the side and let's come into our mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Take a nice deep breath here. And then come back up. Let's sweep that left leg across. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And then exhale, take your right arm across, coming into your twist. This should feel really nice for that left glute. Okay, guess what? We have come into our final series. We're gonna return to our tricep push-up with the child's pose. So find your push-up position, draw your navel in, inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, press, inhale, child's pose, exhale, shift forward, and again. You've done this one before, so maybe see if you can pick up the pace a little bit but keeping still that control in your movement and the good form. Let's do two more. And last one. Now let's lose the child's pose and just do four push-ups for me. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale two more last one well done let's tuck our toes under and press up into your plank position let's take some mountain climbers so pull one knee across and then the other knee across nice exhale and exhale really trying to reach for that opposite elbow or opposite tricep Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down, lower down onto your forearms. Interlace your fingers, really draw your navel in and press your shoulders away. On your inhale, lift your hips and exhale lower. 
and again inhale lift exhale lower really drawing up through your navel as you lift your hips pressing through your shoulders just two more last one and now hold in your plank final move my favorite salsa hips drop one hip to the side and then the other so you twist and twist keep pressing down through your shoulders lifting up through your navel this is it we get to stretch it out soon let's do eight more seven six whew, five four three two and one well done lower your knees uncurl your toes and carefully drop your hips down to the floor stay up on your elbows release your hands roll your shoulders back and open through your heart you did so well today so really enjoy this stretch nice inhale and exhale then carefully lower yourself down onto the front side of your body and then extend your right arm out in line with your shoulder and bend your left elbow. Come onto your right cheek and just press yourself over, bringing your left foot to the back, feeling a nice release for your right shoulder. Then return through center other side extend your left arm long come onto your left cheek bend your right elbow and roll over feeling a nice stretch for your left shoulder then return through center Take your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, tuck your toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. On your inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Then shift your weight forward, bend your left knee and let's come into our pigeon pose. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. Either stay here nice and upright or maybe you'd like to walk your hands forward so that you feel a deeper stretch. Then lift your chest, carefully walk your hands back, tuck your back toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, extend your right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Then shift your weight forward, pull your right knee forward, coming into your pigeon pose. Making sure that right foot is flexed. Inhale, stay up nice and tall, or exhale, fold forward. Try to draw that left hip closer down towards the mat to feel a deeper stretch. then lift your chest walk your hands towards your leg and let's just shift our weight back onto our hip let's keep that right knee bent and left leg extended inhale reach your right arm up and exhale side bend over to the left
and other side. Bend your left knee, extend your right leg. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Then carefully return through center. And let's find a nice cross-legged position on our mat. Sitting up nice and tall. On your inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. And one more to finish class. Nice big inhale. And exhale, release your hands to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's full body Pilates class with the band. If you want to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again, everyone, and have the most beautiful day.